All right, this is a quick tutorial going over each step of the promo creation and upload checklist. This is a uh, the Wide Orbit Production Studio computer, or the Production Studio Wide Orbit computer. Uh, what is always running or should always be running is the uh, Wide Orbit software, so we're simply going to minimize that. It's in the way, but we don't want to quit that software. We're going to need it later, and it takes a minute to open it up. So we'll minimize that. Uh, the first step on the list is bring or record music into Adobe Audition. So I have created, uh, for the sake of this tutorial, but it's in alignment with what you guys will do. You open the Radio Broadcasting 20, Fall 2021 class folder. Find your folder. Here's mine. Darren, open that. I've created a folder inside of that called Promo 1. And inside that folder, I have put the two things I need, the voiceover that I recorded already and the music that I want to use. Now, I simply need to put both of those into Adobe Audition. A simple way to do that is to click and shift click and drag those over the Adobe Audition icon, either there or down on the toolbar. It's going to open Audition and put the files over here on the left-hand side in the files bin. That's great. Now I need to... Uh, record the voice track. Well, I've already done the voice track. There's my voice track. And it's already hard limited to minus three. If I had just recorded it right now, then I would select if effects, amplitude and compression, hard limiter, set the maximum amplitude to minus three, and I would boost the input by six dB, click apply. I'm not going to do it because that's already what's done to this voice track. It's got those settings on it. Now I'm going to place the music and voice track into a multi-track session. So let's click the multi-track up here in the top left, and it's going to say, oh, you want to save a multi-track session? So at the prompt, it's the next se uh, step in the checklist, at the prompt, save a multi-track session into your appropriate folder for this project. So I am going to name this Promo 1. I am going to browse. i got to browse for this, and I'm going to go to Radio Broadcasting Class. Darren, scroll down, Promo 1. I guess that's as far as it goes. Promo 1. So now it's in there. 44.1, 16-bit stereo. All needs to be uh, set correctly, and click OK. Now I've got a multi-track session. I like to put my voice track on top, so I'm going to drag my VO to the top track. Just anywhere is fine going to drag my music to the next track. Uh, anywhere is fine, but then I'm going to need to trim the music to the proper length. So the next step is trim music to exactly 30 seconds. So I'm going to use the selection tool. I'm going to click here in the track. Use the plus equals key to zoom in. I'm going to mouse over the end of this file, and you'll see that red trim uh, icon sh shows up, so I'm going to trim that in. I'm going to zoom in even a little bit more and get it perfect. All right, now I'm going to use the end key on the keyboard to go to the end of the file. Oh, it's too far. I'm going to use the backslash key to show all and click at the end. Uh, right now, actually, I'm going to mouse over the end, use the trim tool to trim it to close to 30 seconds, just right there. Now I'm going to click there and zoom in. Now I am going to, I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to move this thing to exactly 30 seconds right there. Now I'm going to trim to that. And because I'm in snapping mode, it's going to snap to it. Boom. I am trimmed exactly to 30 seconds. You can see that with the snap. Now backslash for show all. Now my voice track and my music track are actually almost the same length. For some reason, this voice track is long, but that's okay. Uh, that's what I had done. I know I need my promo to be exactly 30 seconds, so I'm going to slide it now by clicking and dragging in the top bar of the audio file there to the beginning. And now I'm going to drag the music file tight. I'm going to turn off snapping now by hitting the S key. I'm going to zoom in and see how bad I am, okay? So I'm going to have to fix this. I'm going to actually have to... Drag this file right to the beginning tight, like that. Let's see how it looks at the end. Boy, it's you know what? It's going to be all right, actually. I'm going to um, trim this up. I'm going to be just, oh, something's wrong. I'm actually under 30 seconds. Now that I'm zoomed in, cool. Now that I'm zoomed in, it looks as though I went a little short on my trim. So let me trim that out to about 30 right there. And you can look down here in the bottom 
uh, area and see what it says selection. I'm at 29876, so I'm close. Anyway, that's close enough. Now let's go home to the beginning and, and give it a little bit of time there. I could play this, but you can't hear it anyway because this is all a screen share. So that's okay. This is just to show you the steps. All right, now I'm going to do backslash show all. I've got, let's pretend I've listened and I like what I heard. I've got my voice track laid inside of my music track. It's set to exactly 30 seconds. Uh, the next thing to do is duck the music track under the voice track using the yellow autom a volume automation line. So I'm going to click here, zoom in. I want the music track to duck under right at this point, so I'm going to put a dot here and another dot next to it, grab the second dot, and duck it down about 9 to 10 dB. Let's do that. Now I'm going to click this here and drag to the end, and right as the voice ends, I'm going to put a dot there and uh, right there. Come on, give me a dot. There, I got it. And another dot. I'm going to have that... There, that dot. I'm going to have that dot rise back to zero right before the music hits there. So I'm going to do a show all. Now the music is ducked under the voice by about 10 dB. Right? Right? Great. Next step is right-click on the music track and select a mix down session to new file uh, entire session. So I'm going to right-click here, go down to mix down session to new file entire session. It creates a new file. Play the resulting file from beginning to end to confirm it sounds correct. Well, I'll play it here, but... It's probably fine. We can't hear it. It looks good. Add a fade uh, to the end using the gray square fade out icon. So now I, f I would be, I would, when I mouse over this one at the end, see it says fade out. And I am going to drag that in a little bit. Maybe give it a one second fade right there. I would click here and play that. And if I could hear it, I would say great. It looks good. I'm going to normalize the entire file to minus 3 dB now. It looks actually like it's exactly right. Uh, so I'm actually happy with that. But I can always do it anyway. Nothing will change. So I'm going to go effects, amplitude and compression, normalize. I'm going to set minus 3. It's already set because it's the last thing I did. dB needs to be checked. Hit OK. You can see it turned it down a little bit. It's all good. Now. In the metadata slash XMP tab at the right under Wide Orbit, enter your show name and promo number in all caps in the title field and enter your last name, uh, comma, first name in the artist field. So I'm going to go over here and you can see it says Metadata XMP. The title is That's So Random Promo 1 Artist Pierce comma Darren oh, that looks great all right now I want to select a uh, file save as let's do that file save as I'm going to make the format set the format to wide orbit right I'm gonna make sure that sample type is 44 1 44 100 Hertz stereo 16-bit should be I want to make sure that include markers and meta other metadata is checked and then I want to select the location. Hopefully, it's a recent location, I can, so I can use this drop-down arrow here and select D Import Adobe. So that's going to be the save location. Uh, I want to set the file name to PRO, which is the category code for promo, and my name. I'm going to pretend that my, my promo number is 0099. So I'm going to set all of this to PRO. 0099. It's not case sensitive. You could do capital PRO or not. Doesn't matter. It's just got to be PRO0099. That's mine. Do yours correctly. Uh, doubling, double checking the location is right. The format is set to wide orbit right. And the sample type is correct. And including markers and metadata is checked. I'm going to hit OK. Now I should get this dialog. If I don't get this dialog, then I would. Do it again. Saved using a wide orbit right. Okay, great. That's done. Now I'm going to pull up uh, wide orbit software, but do not close Adobe Audition. So I'm going to go down here and click the wide orbit software. I'm going to search PRO, put a slash to indicate category. I can go zero, zero, and it see it starts to decrease the list. I can do a nine, and let's see. Oh, 
That's so random, Darren Pierce. I'm going to put it in preview mode by clicking the little headphones preview icon. I'm going to play my promo. And it plays the promo. Let's pretend it did. I can close it. If it all sounds good, then I am good with that. I'm now going to go back to Adobe Audition by clicking the icon down here because it's still open. That brings that back up. That's okay. And, um, oh, by the way, right back here in, uh, in wide orbit confirm that the number you saved it in is correct if you hit get the wrong number here and and erase someone else's promo or put your promo in before they did their promo they're going to erase yours so do it all again uh and make sure that your number is right like mine is pro0099 that's my number so i'm good all right back to audition now select file save as sorry file save as once again Set the format to MP3. All right. Set the file name to your show name and pro promo number. So uh, that's so random promo one. Now, to avoid any software glitches, take out uh, punctuation. Software sometimes doesn't like punctuation. So that's a random promo one. Great, got that now. I have to select the location. This is super important. I need to browse for it. The location needs to be my working folder. Appropriate project folder. So now I gotta go, let's see, desktop. What is it? It's the radio class. It's Darren. It's promo one. Right there, I wanna go in here. Save. All right, so the file name is correct. The location is correct. The format is MP3. It can be a 320K constant bit rate. That's fine, and I can leave that checked as well. Click OK. It saved it. Great. Now I can go to my file. Let's minimize Audition by clicking that. Minimize uh, White Orb by clicking that. Check it out. My MP3 file is here. That's so random. Promo MP3. You can double-click and open it here and play it in, like, groove music and make sure it's correct just to double check but it should be fine upload that to canvas all right now you can close adobe audition and i want to save my session promo my the, the promo session which is the multi-track thing over there that, that helped me that i used to create all this and go ahead and say yes so it saved the session which is uh on in here promo session one it's in there so uh that's saved too so i can go back to it if there's a problem and redo things all right that's it